bitches! Welcome, Welcome to, to Movie, movie bitches. bitches! Retro Review, episode 6! Tonight we're reviewing French Kiss. We got two copies of French Kiss recently at the P.O. Box. Thanks, cunts! So we thought it well, was a sign. It was a sign. It's only it was, appropriate. Yeah. Particularly considering Andrew had never seen French Kiss. So French Kiss, starring Meg Ryan and Kevin Klein. My favorite! And one of my favorites. Oh my gosh. Meg Ryan. So fabulous. Oh, right. <laughs> She's also fabulous. She is. Don't get me wrong. A national treasure. <laughs> she truly is. I watched this whole movie and I was like, God, this is so good. And then the credits came up at the end and it was like, directed by Lawrence Kasdan. And I was like, oh, of course. <laughs> you could also say like, oh, it was Nancy Myers. And then like, as of late, you can't say that, right? <laughs> N now like she has Reese Witherspoon <laughs> dating a Jonas brother. Like, I don't know what's happening. That movie looks terrible and I can't wait to watch it <laughs> and complain about how it's 20 minutes too long. <laughs> yeah. Can already tell. I just hope that it's not in any way shape or form like um it's complicated oh. because that movie was pure garbage. I turned it off. It was pure I garbage. I turned it off five minutes before the end. <laughs> That's how little I cared. I was like you know what fuck this. I still don't know. Did she pick Steve Martin? Did she pick Alec Baldwin? I don't remember. I have no idea. It doesn't matter because I hated that movie. <laughs> yeah, it was so bad. The but her only kitchen good thing was, was when she was making croissants. <laughs> there was yeah, the, which the, night the Nancy Myers kitchen are you? <laughs> and of course I was, it's complicated, but it's because it's fabulous. I Although, feel like I was Something's Gotta Give. Yeah, Something's Gotta Give is also a really good kitchen. And they're similar. Yeah. Something's Gotta Give is like East Coast Beach House, and right. this is like West Santa Coast Barbara. Santa Barbara Beach House. It's very similar, just different shades of beige. <laughs> anyway, this movie, French oh, Kiss. Oh my god, it's so good. I love this movie. I watch this movie a lot. I love it. It's really charming and quaint and it's cute. Really, and... I, was, I was watching it going, well, a lot of stuff happens. Yeah. It's like it's packed in. It is. is it, there's a tight plot. Mm -hmm. All the characters have enough time to get developed. Like it's, it's, they do. And you know what's crazy. really nice is that this is a rom-com where neither of the characters is crazy. Yeah, they're not crazy. They're like quirky at best. Sure. She has her issues. He has his. Mainly like he's a, a massive thief. But, you yeah, know. It's charming. <laughs> charming thief. Yeah. He's Aladdin. What can I say? There you go. Exactly. Exactly. He's a diamond in the rough who just wants to make wine. Don't we all? We never see him steal... Oh, he steals that car. We don't see it, though. It's very often... No, we actually fully see it. Oh, yeah, he does break it. He, like, he shoves... It. Yeah, he, he breaks it. It's charming. It. <laughs> He's Kevin Klein. It's charming. Stay <laughs> for a joyride. They'll find it later. Yeah. And somehow he pulls it off. Like, I don't know how, but right. he's constantly stealing well, things and running from the police. But I don't know if he really is stealing for things constantly, is what I was really trying to oh, get right. at. We do see him steal the car, but other than that, I don't think we see him steal anything a else. motorcycle. Oh, right. He steals vehicles. He also gets on a train without paying for the ticket. That's small pennies. He steals uh, the vodka on the plane. Well, that's just, you know, whatever. So, yeah, okay, fine. We're just an apologist. <laughs> We're Kevin Klein apologists. Can I say okay. he's a French accent? He's charming. <laughs> I don't like how you squish up your face and go, you're French. You're French. Luke. 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 No, not Luke. 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 This was supposed to be Gerard Depardieu. Would have been terrible. I think I know who that is. Have you seen My Father the Hero? No. Have you seen Green Card? No. An out of Gerard Depardieu movie. Okay, cool. He's like a really famous French guy. I don't find him attractive. Okay, sure. And yet he's like this French icon. Right, but he's not like charming like Kevin Klein is. Oh God, no. Who is? I mean, who is really? I mean, a few people, but... Who writes that line of comedy, drama, sexy, normal guy, can do accents? I mean, it's just great. His accent work is on point. <gasps> oh, la 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 la. Voila! Maintenant je comprends tout. It's pretty good. I mean, it's it's it's, it's very comical. French. Yeah, yeah. Oh ouais. Uh, ouais. Yeah. Well, and I liked that the French people, when speaking to each other, spoke French, and it was subtitled. Mm -hmm. Like that's great. It's authentic. Yeah. French national treasure Jean Reno is the cop, his friend. Yes. Loved it. Mm -hmm. I know him from stuff. 
He's in a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't know who the girlfriend was. Don't know who the fiance was. You don't know who Timothy Hutton is? Hmm. Have you seen Ordinary People? Maybe. Have you seen Mira Wolf? No. Have you seen Last Holiday? Yes! He's the asshole guy. He's the asshole guy. That's like dating Alicia Witt. That's her, that's, uh, that's, um, Queen Latifah's like, CEO of the department oh, store that she works I at. I think we need to watch that movie oh, again. Oh, we 100% need to rewatch Last Holiday. I remember it being absolutely terrible. It's, it's, it's pure garbage and I loved, but I loved it every <laughs> second of it. Okay, good. Because guess what? Have a soft spot for Queen Latifah. I really do. She's great. I do too. So Meg Ryan, okay, we have some mashups to make. I, she is... Uh, just a gem. A gem, but it's funny. I really realized she does the same things in every yeah, I mean, movie. She's doing Meg Ryan. And it works. Oh, yeah. Every time. Oh, yeah. I'm she's just one like, of the best. Yes. And it's unfortunate that, like, someone like Julie Roberts, who is always doing Julie Roberts, who I, I don't, I like Julie Roberts. She's fine. She's fine. Um, has Depends. transitioned and, like, still has a career. Right. And for whatever reason, Meg Ryan, like, doesn't and I don't know what that is. Why can't we have like a, le a message in a bottle with Meg Ryan? You know what I mean? Where it's just kind of like a late well, she, romance. We'll, we'll talk about it. She got weird plastic surgery. Yes, yeah, she did. It didn't help. I know. But I think it's calmed. Okay. Down. Kind of like Reese. <laughs> Not Reese. Renee. Zelliger. Yes. It like it, she like, looks like herself again. It settled. Yeah. Anyway, I'm I'm here for a resurgence of Meg Ryan because. Spoiler alert, she's fantastic. She really is. She really sells lines that wouldn't... Like, she makes things quotable that otherwise would not be quotable. What is that? What are you doing? You're taking all the caviar? That caviar is a garnish. That caviar is a garnish. <laughs> it, there was just so many lines in this movie. Oh my god, there like really is. Quoting it. Yeah. Like, I know I will, uh, I will triumph. With... With the art to drag in the background. You know what she does that's really great is like she does whiny, but in like an endearing way. She uh -huh. she pheromones it. She totally pheromones it. Where you're like, this normally would be obnoxious, and yet you're just so charming you're that I'm just <laughs> obsessed with you. I was watching this movie thinking, why aren't you insufferable? Exactly. Like, like oh, you seem like you just be the worst. Uptight, whiny, you know. And then, but then, but she, what's, she flips the switch. And then it's like, oh, you're like 100% fabulous now. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is crazy. Like, oh, yes. I want to watch this. There's no way that everything I've been building toward would be destroyed because some pouty little, and this is before I knew you personally, bitch, pardon my French, wanted to steal herself a husband. I hate Paris because he's with a slut. I hate Paris because my love is there with his slut. Girlfriend. Blood girlfriend. girlfriend. <laughs> I really am sad that there aren't more Kevin Klein rom coms. Yeah. Because he's fantastic. But, like, here's the thing is that, like, I would totally watch them now. in a new rom com now. Absolutely. I'm down for a Nancy Myers, Kevin Klein, Meg Ryan starring rom com. But, like, Nancy Myers doing what she does yeah, right. Yeah, Nancy Myers with a new editor who trims them down. She's the intern. Yeah. Was that her? Yeah. What happened to Nancy Myers? Nancy Myers doesn't understand a modern woman. That's the problem. That, that is the problem. She's stuck in the 80s. In the 60s, where it's like, sure. you know, this, this, like, oh, a woman should just meet this man and then fall in love and then they get married and then the woman just is, like, his wife. And has a fabulous kitchen. Uh, anyway, we haven't talked about about Kevin Klein enough, I don't think. Not really. I mean, he, you shouldn't like him in this movie. He's a thief. He's dressed he's slubby. He's a bad mustache. He's a very bad haircut. And a very and bad. yet, I'm all in. I kept I'm waiting. All in. I was kept waiting for the makeover moment. Yeah. Where you're like finally he cleans shaved. up and you're like, oh At yeah. At least he fucking shaved. Fine. No, he doesn't. Mm -mm. But I, I, I was fine with it. But they set him up. They set his character up from the beginning, basically, to seem like he's he is sincere. Well, they did that thing that Harry Met Sally did so well, where it's like, oh, opposites attract, right? I feel like that's not really a thing people do anymore. No. In bed, 
you're waiting under the covers, the light is going off, and then, like a rabbit. What? What? Well, what is the matter with you? I know this you don't know it's me. It's, just, it's fun banter. Like, where's when Harry met Sally the later years? Like, I am down for that to happen, where it's like, oh, both of our, like, spouses died, mm. and now, like, we hated each other, but, like, it's like Grace and Frankie, but, like, right, right. a rom-com instead of, like, you know, two women just hanging out in a fabulous house together. No, but it helped that they had um, the the French cop like vouch for him, right? Right. Early on, like we we meet him, and sure, okay, he steals like some liquor bottles, and it's he has like, this weird of, necklace and a plant. But like you're you're intrigued. You're intrigued, and he seems like and he's funny. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, oh, I, li I like. He's this. like funny and charming. You're like, oh, you're the breath of fresh air that like she needs because she's such like a stick in the mud. Right. But then, real quick. It's like, oh, here's my friend. Oh, he talks about how I saved his life and I'm such a good guy, but yeah. I'm like, you I'm know, saving on the him wrong... from himself. Yeah, yeah. He can't help himself. Yeah, sure. You know, like this kind of thing. But it's interesting too that like in a rom com, the whole movie, he openly talks about his impotence. Oh, this problem. It's not a problem. She I mean... gets an Eiffel Tower. <laughs> this made me think of you. <laughs> and that's just like okay, like he's. It's crazy that that is like that that wouldn't be in a movie now. No, because there's like such like fragile like, masculinity, oh, oh, right? Yeah, yeah, oh my yeah, god! Possibly. This movie was really delightful. Can we talk about the fashion? Oh boy, can we not? Can we talk about the fashion? <laughs> oh my god, it's so painful. Sometimes it's good. No. She's got a great chunky oatmeal sweater on the phone at the beginning of the movie, and I was like, yes. Okay. And then she's wearing a lot of very, very wide-legged slacks. It's very 90s clothing. The worst of the 90s. But I gotta tell you, when I watched this in the 90s, I thought, ooh, I want to dress like her. <gasps> no. I loved it. Oh, I was like, no. she's so French and casual and relaxed. Oh, look at her. She's so relaxed but cute. She pulls it off. She doesn't. It's terrible. She's wearing the most unattractive sweater vest. <laughs> Unflattering. <laughs> I've ever seen. Throughout half of the movie. All her clothes get stolen and you're like, oh, she's going to be wearing this the whole time. Oh. But they find a way. They find a way. To shake it up. Yeah. She's got the tank top on. She's got the it's true. horrible, billowy, button-down button down shirt. Right. But then oh, sometimes yeah. it's open. Yeah. But then sometimes it's closed. But sometimes it's tied up. Yep. But sometimes her jacket's tied around her waist. Like, they figured it out. Yeah. She's got blue sunglasses. Oh, boy, they're terrible. I would like to talk about... Her leather backpack purse for a long time. For a long time. It seems like one that you have. You know why I have it? Because of this? Because of this movie. Oh my god, that's amazing and insane. My mom, for a number of years, was on the hunt for the French Kiss leather backpack purse. That's amazing. So they're on the train. <laughs> this is one of those weird rom com tropes that just happens and you're like, okay, whatever. They're on the train, she falls asleep. He's trying to get the necklace out of her purse still. And she does that thing that nobody does. Where she's like, oh, I'm so asleep. I'm just going to like roll over and start making out with my, who, I don't know, my fiance. That I'm dreaming about. I'm so, oh, I'm so, oh. Oh, um, oh, Charlie. Oh, Charlie. Oh, let's make out. Even though you have a mustache and a severe five o'clock shadow. And you're a physical human being that I'm interacting with and would wake up. I mean, the second that he, like, moved her arm down, I was like, oh, I'd be awake. Yeah. If someone grabs me and moves me, probably gonna wake up. Probably gonna wake up. But anyway, then they make out. Yeah. Like, well, they, they, like, kiss. They don't make out. They but make it was... out. It's a long, lingering kiss. How about that? Sure. It's not a peck. It's a French kiss? It is a French kiss. Because it's in France or because it was a French kiss? Both. Okay. It's, it's a French kiss It's hard to tell France. with his mustache. Sure. What is exactly How happening. open the mouth is. <laughs> what exactly is going on here? But yes. It's here. The mucus is here. The mucus? The mucus coating the intestinal wall. Spasm! 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 Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like the way she, her delivery is just great. Lactose intolerance! I can't get enough, but did you know there's 465 classified cheeses in this country? I feel your pain, Meg Ryan. I wish I, I could eat all the cheese in the world. Mm-hmm. Handles things well, like... It did. They were like real people. We have to meet his family, right? To endear her 
to him, right? And so they're on the train and she's like, isn't this beautiful? It's so beautiful. Oh my God. And he's like, Ugh, whatever. He's like, who cares? And he's like, I grew up here. I grew up here. Of course, that's where she has lactose intolerance and has sure. to stop to it's use the restroom. It's not like in a, in a lesser rom-com, it would be like, what? It's your brother's birthday. I'm going to badger you into getting off this train and force you to go to your family reunion. Mm. That would be in a, like a lesser, you know, that would happen. Sure. Okay. All of the backstory, it was like good exposition with him where it didn't feel forced, but it was like very, you know, like, oh my gosh, oh, well, now I learned all of these things. Other, exactly. Yeah. Having a I, chat. It's a very charming, lovely, wonderful movie. You lost your birthright in one hand of poker. I'm an asshole. What can I tell you? <laughs> I wouldn't change a thing. Not really. I mean, I was thinking about it. Maybe that the weird sleep kiss. Maybe, but... But, like, it didn't bother me enough it was that borderline. I was like... It was borderline. They, they <laughs> could have done the exact same thing, because this is what they always have to do in rom-coms, where it's like... Oh, you're staying at the B&B, &B and you have to pretend that you're married because of stupid reasons. Right. And like, kiss, kiss, kiss. I'm like, oh, oh, I guess we should. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love you. You know, like, that's a thing, right? Yes. And so they easily could have done, prolonged the kiss and had it be like, we're making Charlie jealous. Sure, let's exactly. Let's pretend to be dating yes. and kiss. Yes. Or let's practice. Show me how you can kiss and I'll show you how to really kiss like a French person. You know, they could have gotten Something, practice. Something, yes. Well, but what I liked though was that they didn't wait for it to be, let's make Charlie jealous. Because by the time that she's yeah. meeting Charlie and confronting him, she's already in love with Luke. Luke. With Luke. No, 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 Luke. Luke. No, not Luke. 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 Another like funny quote or whatever is like, you make my ass twitch. I want someone that makes my ass twitch. I was always like, oh. what does that mean? My ass is twitching. Your people make my ass twitch. Oh, just like a little tingle in my mingle. Is that what that means? Sure. Get um, those kegels in. <laughs> those kegels. Is it? I don't know. I always thought. I, I don't know. I always knew them. Knew them as kegels. I don't know. Kegel? Kegel. Kegel. I do love, it's beautifully shot all in France. Yes. Or a lot of it. Apparently, Lawrence Kasdan, like, had just come off a really hard shoot and was offered this movie, and he was like, well, nice vacation for my family in France. Sure. Love it. Which is weird, because he hasn't done any other rom-coms, really. Okay. Not really. Like, Big Chill isn't really a rom-com. No. Body Heat certainly isn't a rom-com. <laughs> Dreamcatcher, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Grand Canyon, no one knows what that is. So, you know. But, oh wait, you haven't seen I Love You to Death, have you? Mm -mm. We should watch I Love You to Death. Okay. It's Kevin Klein, Tracy Ullman. Really funny. Okay. You were talking about vacations to France and excuses to make a movie. And I was thinking of Paris Can Wait. Oh, yeah. Which is not this movie at all. It's not also a very good movie. But it's not terrible. It's like boring, but pretty and mediocre. Like my mom would still like it, but she might fall asleep halfway through and like have dreams of France. And that's fine, you know, like whatever. Is that the one where Alec Baldwin is the okay. love interest? Well, so no, this, he's the ex-husband. The most the... fun, no, the, the most fun part about it, and this yeah. is why I thought of it, it's uh, directed and written right. by Coppola's wife. It's about a woman who has a semi-affair while her big shot director husband leaves her to go film in wherever yeah. and she has to get to Paris with his friend or acquaintance or whatever. And I'm like, oh. Tell me more, tell me more. <laughs> and I mean, who's to say how, you know. Well, it's like Lost in Translation is like, I, you know. Bi biographical or whatever. Oh, really? Oh, you didn't know about that? No, I also haven't seen it. You haven't seen Lost in Translation? No, it just seemed you real might, boring to you me. You might not like it. I really liked it. Um, but it's supposedly loosely based on Sofia Coppola and her husband at the time, Spike Jones, who was a photographer. He's a photographer in the thing. And they were in Japan. The Anna Ferris character plays this sort of like ditzy, overly excited, like, um, actress, and she's supposed to be based on Cameron Diaz. Oh. And then Bill Murray is sort of dry, um, famous actor who's like slumming it and doing Japanese commercials is supposed to be Harrison Ford. And it's supposed, like, they met and it was like had a, 
had a flirty time. That's the story. I don't know if it's true, Interesting. but that's the story. Huh. But Paris can wait. You could watch it or not. It's not French Kiss. You should watch, Just French, watch Kiss French Kiss instead. Just um, watch French Kiss. Yeah. But um, it was very pretty. Sure. And there was there was more food porn in that. I wish this French Kiss was like pre-food porn. I get well, they didn't really I was they didn't really eat much. No. She eats cheese. Yeah, and then gets sick. And they drink wine. Yeah. I'm a right. little bit, but she, not even that much. She eats a carrot on the beach. I mean they don't they don't go out to dinners. No. They're always running around and traveling. I kept thinking like she hasn't slept in like two days. Right? She hasn't showered in like two days. Or even if he's introducing her to he's like, and this like, is it. Like, you like, haven't even lived. That. You haven't had cassoulet. I mean, like, they did that with the wine. Sure. Right? He does yes. like, the whole smelling and wine. And she's a natural and she's just like, oh, I oh, smell I the cassis. Yeah, the currants, yeah, the oh. currants whatever. Oh, I'm so impressed. Oh my god, we're in love. I would love a vineyard in France. It's a lot of hard work. I didn't say I would love working a vineyard. I said I would love to own a vineyard. <laughs> Got it. I don't think there's working plumbing in that cottage, by the way. That's an issue. <laughs> there needs to be a Toto bidet in that bathroom, okay? Because <laughs> they're retrofitted. Upgrade. <laughs> yes, upgrade. Slightly. Exactly. Get my Nancy Myers kitchen in there. Yes. Indoor plumbing. And I'm set. Can you imagine Table a Nancy TV, Myers kitchen in that set. cottage? Oh, oh my god. god. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. Ugh. Oh, with just this big, like, copper, um, oh, yeah. with the hang pot hanger. Oh, yeah. And, like, one of those big, silly faucets and just, like... The restaurant faucet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, my god. Yeah. Ugh. I, I see it now, and I, I want it. I want it. Can Kevin Klein come? Sure. Can Meg Ryan come? Absolutely. I'm excited. Meg Ryan's on Fabulous Cunt Island, right? We had this conversation. She's absolutely on Fabulous Cunt okay. Island. Okay, and okay. Kevin Klein is most certainly on Cock Cove. Cock Cove. Cock Cove. Cock Cove. Cock Cove. He's, he's in Cock Cove. Yeah. Hanging out. <laughs> he certainly has an invite. Good. <laughs> Watch French Kiss. Definitely. <laughs>